Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to Brainplosion. In this video, we're going to be testing out this plastic welding kit. But before getting started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click all notifications because really the subscribe button is a glorified like button and clicking all notifications is like actually subscribing. Hopefully that makes sense. Anyways, yeah do that. So this plastic welding kit was something I bought off of Amazon and is made by this company called Bondic. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And I really wanted to test this product and see if it was legit. The kit comes in this little aluminum container that has everything you need inside. It even comes with this instruction manual on how to use it and tells you what things you can do with it. And honestly, it's pretty easy to understand and use. The black tube is what is holding the liquid. It has this little metal tip that helps with accuracy. The orange thing is what is holding the UV light. Like it can come apart and it's just being clamped down by the orange thing. And to use it, you first got to squeeze out the liquid. I squeeze a little drop of liquid to the bottom of this glass cup. I was messing with the liquid with this nail that I found so you guys could see how the liquid reacted before I shined the UV light on it. And as you can see, it was pretty liquidy. And then you just shine the UV light on it. And guys, it really, really works. And it works really fast. You can even hear that it's solid and I scratched it a bit and it's pretty solid. After seeing that it worked, I messed around with it and made these stalagmite looking things that were pretty cool to make. I then tested if the liquid heated up when the UV light was shined on it because when I was making the little stalagmites, there was smoke coming off of it. The sticky notes started at this temperature. I then added the liquid and the liquid was pretty much the same as the uh, the sticky notes. And when I shined the UV light, it jumped up in temperature pretty fast. I'm not too sure. I got a super accurate read on it, but it jumped up like 10 degrees or something like that. Anything close to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, yeah, be careful. Not only that, but I didn't use a large quantity. I then tested if it could really patch holes. I made a pretty big hole in this plastic container. It took a while, but it did a really good job at patching this hole. There was no leak or anything, as you can see. So overall, I give this product two thumbs up. I don't know, 10 out of 10, five stars. Basically what I'm saying is that it's a good buy for repairing little gadgets and whatnot. And it's a pretty good buy uh, just to have and mess around with. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up so it can reach more people by YouTube recommending it to more people. Subscribe if you haven't already and click all notifications. That's the only way you guys will be able to keep up with my videos. So yeah, by the way, I'm gonna try to be doing live streams. Possibly I had really fun the last time. So yeah keep out for that. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.